I know this video will not be getting a whole lot of views because uh, just searching on YouTube about this knife, it's there's not a whole lot of results. This is the Northern Plains Dagger from uh, Crazy Crow's Trading Post. And I've been wanting this knife for over a decade now. I just love the way it looks. I'm trying to uh, get it out of the sheath. I've uh, been wanting it for a very long time because I just... I, the website made it look so beautiful and everything and i finally got it and i was really excited and thankful uh, i looked at it in the dark semi my darkest were like in a birthday reunion but uh here it is and uh uh well the fit and finish is horrendous um it's very off center and there's a stamp this is india hopefully that'll buff out uh everything is relatively off center as you can see, I apologize for not cutting this video into multiple segments. I'm trying to get this video out there because I actually want to um, restore it of sorts, uh, make it look a little bit more appealing. The rivets are all kind of like spaced out kind of weirdly. You can tell the difference between here and the opposite side how uh, there is about a half an inch and then a quarter of an inch of uh, riveting. And the alternating colors that the website would show is just simply not there. The fit and finish right here, how it goes from very thick handle to, uh, I guess, where the handle is supposed to taper out. It was just very poorly executed, and it's just glued together. Um, this happens a lot with kukris, too, if you order a kukri and it comes from India. Uh, I've seen plenty of beautiful knives and swords and stuff like that come from India, but this is definitely on the cheaper end of uh, something that, you know, I wouldn't particularly get it again. Um... And I don't want to be the person who's like, hey, uh, let me return this birthday present because I still like it. And I genuinely think that uh, I can fix it and make it look much better than what it is. But you can even see uh, like swoosh marks right here where it was polished. And uh, yeah, it overall is not the vibe. If you want this knife, I highly recommend uh, going with one something else or overall uh, making your own. Uh, I will be now that I have a reference for size and thickness. I'll want, to, I'll want to be making one of these. I got some railroad, uh, not spikes. <laughs> That'd be too much effort. Uh, I got some uh, leaf spring material that I can make these out of. So, yeah, overall the shape is cool, but it's just blocky. The fit and finish looks like a little kid in Pakistan made it. I've been there, so it's, yeah. Um, everything is kind of off-center. Um, I kind of want to break the whole handle off and... Uh, do something different but I'm afraid that I won't be able to match this uh, I won't be able to make something very pretty like this so yeah overall uh, would it be getting again um, glad that it was a present but I wouldn't recommend this to uh, anybody just the overall fit and finish just uh, did not pass the the aesthetic check right um, you wouldn't be proud to uh, handle this around uh, cool for reenactments and actual maybe a work knife, but uh, yeah, I, I could endlessly go about it. I'm going to try to uh, round off the edge on the belt grinder over yonder, the same belt grinder I've, I've always had. But as you can see, yeah, this is not the fit and finish that I would expect, especially for a $50 knife. Um, yeah, well, I hope that I have hopefully deterred you from getting this if it was in your mind. But uh, uh, hopefully this cleans up. I don't think it will, but uh, it'll be a really good throwing around knife. But yeah, thank you for watching.